what is going on my everythings it is your girl janique with a and i am back with another reading for you guys if no one told you guys today i love you and i know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do so y'all this is going to be your march forecast all right they're going to be eight portals that has opened up and that is opening up this month major entryways okay to your next cycle in life so the first portal was on the 9th of march and mercury went into aries all right and it gave you the effect of everyone's relationship everyone's relationship was affected in this transit all right it brought forward a huge question mark okay in y'all's relationship whether it was platonic whether it was romantic whether it was relationship with your money your job your career whatever it was it presented a huge question mark all right on a ninth because mercury went into Aries. so the question mark consisted of being between evolving or letting go simple all right the second huge portal was of course on the 10th the new moon yesterday in pisces all right this is a big portal for us and was a big portal and we still feeling the energy because the way all these planets are aligning y'all little do y'all know they are literally working heavy behind the scenes because just as we going through war and spiritual warfare what you think is going on in the cosmos all right so these planets have been working heavy behind the scenes and so are you right and for a lot of you guys that's why you know you've been feeling a little tired even though you've been getting eight hours of sleep right it's not that your body it's your spirit right your spirit has been working overtime with the planets and other dimensions preparing you for this new energy and portal that's here now so when you think you're not doing enough you are it's just so much is going on that you don't see when you sleeping at night your spirit is working in your future and other dimensions making sure everything is lined up perfectly so around this new moon there's big big energies of newness but there is a slight of feeling tired and needing to rest and needing to prioritize self-care because your spirit is is working all right um so now that this portal is here you're prepared for this huge shift all right for a lot of us it's in our financial security and abundance you know so give yourself permission to rest all right um while we sow seeds and new seeds and we focus on new intentions and goals we are taking action towards our new life this month march that's why they call it march madness all right march is a month of sowing seeds new ones especially with this new moon portal all right it's literally bringing you to the time of sowing seeds but new ones right because your other ones should be manifesting right focusing on how you can set new intentions the right way all right maybe stop relying on so much luck right and consider a little bit of hard work and prioritizing and focusing on a real pr practical plan on your future. That's the type of energy y'all in. Y'all focusing up. And that's the type of energy this new moon, new moon brung. All right? It's the energy where you're going to be investing your time and your energy into things that will flourish you. All right? You know, sowing seeds in March... Every seed that you sow in March will flourish in the up and coming months if you do it right. All right. Because what March does for us is, and I'm going to tell you why March is so big for me. But what March does for us and what it's doing for us right now with this portal, all right, it, it allowed us to sow seeds in our financial sector so that way we could build on a perfect foundation. 
all right? This is the time to build on a perfect foundation for wealth, for your career, for your love, for your family, for your personal gain, for your well-being, all right? For your status or whatever you're trying to do to leave back in history, all right? And your greatest assets, you know? So investing in yourself, that's one of your greatest assets. You know, investing in a self-help course or something that's, or a yoga or something that's going to benefit you and your body, all right? Training, books, Okay, anything that's going to fuel your mind, body, and soul right now, that is what this new energy is bringing you because it's in Pisces. All right? This is also the year of the dragon. You know, the, the year of the dragon is prosperity. But what got people fucked up is prosperity does not come to those who are not prepared for it. All right? Success, success is when preparation meets opportunities. All right? So the third portal is March 11th. Which is motherfucking today, or which depending on when I'm posting this, I'm posting this at night. So y'all fuck around and get a and, and, and get a and get a uh, video at night because I'm feeling froggy. So why why not leap? Y'all getting froggy, so y'all leaping into y'all new careers, y'all leaping into new things, y'all doing things y'all don't normally do. Y'all not giving a fuck about who view y'all, whatever. Y'all just doing it. All right. So today, I mean yesterday, I keep saying today. Yesterday, depending on which day I post it, if I post it tomorrow, it's gonna be the 12th if i post it now no if i post it now because of the hours it's gonna be the 12th so yesterday the 11th venus into pisces okay this is all about our dreams like venus is literally a very big sign of joy of love of sex of pleasure of fortune and fame and beauty and fashion that's what Venus is. That's the planet of love. And everything that we fucking love. And everything that brings us pleasure. That shit went into Pisces yesterday, March 11th. Okay? The two energies brings us a burst of creative flow and ease when it comes to our ideas, when it comes to, you know, the things that we feel confident about. You know what I'm saying? With Venus and Pisces, those two energies is a burst of creative flow. So the fourth portal is March 19th. All right. That's sun entering motherfucking Aries. All right. Happy birthday. Early birthday to my motherfucking dolls. You feel me? Okay. The fourth portal is March 19th. Sun entering Aries. This, my children, will be the grand finale and stepping into thyself fully because when you talk about Aries, that's the first sign. It's all about thyself. That's why Aries is all about thyself. It's literally stepping in to that window of opportunity of exploring what you are and who you are. So it's a lot of transits, right? That's shifting right now. All right. It's a lot of transits happening that is shifting. Which will cause you to make drastic changes while the sun is entering Aries, March 19th. All right, in your direction based off of what you know to be right, not what other people are telling you. You know, this is Aries energy. This is like, this is what I know. Okay? Um, it's going to cause you to make drastic changes in a direction based off of what you know to be right to do now in your life. And better for your highest good. Alright? This is a big confidence booster. Alright? This fourth portal. And not making permanent decisions based off of temporary emotions. This is a time to dare to be different. But dare to ask motherfucking questions. You hear me? Like you're not just riding to the wheels fall off no more. You're like, where we going? What we doing? Alright? You're not being stupid no more. You're getting more information. I don't care if the questions sound, sound stupid. There's no stupid questions. All right. You're getting more curious and clear. All right. So that's the energy that the sun entering Aries is bringing you. Now, the fifth portal is March 22nd. All right. Mars is entering Pisces. The big Pisces energies. All right. Mars is the fighter planet. All right. And Mars governs Scorpio and Aries, all right? Mars is a fighter planet, and it's masculine energy. So this is this portal that Mars is Mars entering Pisces. It's going to be about work, play, 
and motherfucking rest. Rest. And it might seem a little conflicting because Mars, again, is that fighter planet. It got so much energy. It's that planet where, you know, you're fighting your demons, you're winning, you just feel it confident. But then that Pisces energy is like, wait, rest, divine timing, and learning how to balance that. So you, you, will, you will need to find balance in these areas, right? And there may be an internal battle due to you being so passionate right now about so much things so you could be wanting to hang out but you know you gotta spend time at home or you could go hang out but feeling bad that you didn't go home or you could be doing this and you know it, it's just so much and nothing is wrong you just need to find balance and that is what this portal is bringing you to let you know that you're not doing too much you just need to find moderation in all of this and learn how to direct your energy in the right places so that way you can have it all because a lot of people around you are going to make you feel like you can't have it all. No. You just need to direct it the right way. And that's going to cause you to refrain from a lot of people. Because you're going to be like, uh-uh, I don't want this energy around me. All right? So, this time will directly be affecting your finances also. Remember, March. March is all about our income and our finances. March madness. All right? March is a time to set ourselves up financially. All right, creating and building that solid foundation for our wealth, health, and abundance. Straight. All right, a lot of us must learn about money. Simple, y'all. We got to learn about money and how to get that right. A lot of us don't got that right, and a lot of us do. All right, we were brought up to, like, think money is the root of all evil. No. All right, so this portal on um, March 22nd, Mars entering Aries, it is going to be a time where you learn. You're going to have to learn about money or you're going to keep lacking. And you're going to have to get it right. It's not about how spiritual you are. Okay? You cannot run away from the world of money. Because realistically, we all use it in some way to sustain a quality living here on Earth for now. For now. All right, so it is going to push you to really, really make wise decisions. All right, and see where you're falling off at. All right, so you might as well get good at the game, y'all. Try to find some way where you fit in and how you're not just doing things for a check, but really, really tapping into your skills and your talents. All right, try to get better at your finances with um, this particular portal, y'all. Invest in things that are income producing. All right. And I'm not saying just focus on anything that has money. Like try to figure out a talent that you give yourself time to master and then seek out ways that is going to have income. Like there's always ways to make money on, on, a, on a, um internet. So do, you know, that is just an option. But this is a time to use this portal to invest in the things that are income producing, inviting your skills and passions. All right. This is a big time to sacrifice. I'm telling you, don't be around no suckers. Don't be around no people that's scared. Don't be around no people that's fraud and doing phony shit. This is a time to evolve in your prosperity, y'all, specifically this portal. Moving on to the sixth portal. All right, March 25th, full moon energy in the lunar eclipse in fucking Libra. Remember, eclipse time, major change, energies. All right, so when we're talking about the full moons, it's basically energies and motions. All right, your emotions amplified. All right, so unexpected news coming to you. All right, sudden and drastic changes. All right, that may seem crazy, but it is going to catapult you to your destiny. All right, situation showing up that is all of a sudden. This is a time where you have to have trust and faith. All right, and know that the universe and that she has your back and she's delivering what you want just in a totally different way. And things are balancing out for your greater good. You just gotta trust. Sorry, eclipse season is crazy. You hear me? So, you know, but I moved in eclipse season. So everything is good. All right. Um, the seventh portal, all right, is on March 29th. 
And it's called the Asteroid of Wisdom, baby. Because this is retrograde and motherfucking Sagittarius. Sagittarius is all about growth and expansion in our spirituality, in our journey, in our discernment, in our ability to judge character well, in our ability to see what the fuck is going on. That there's a higher power working with us. Of our skills, um, having discipline, building character. All right, so retrograde is here. April. All right, so March 29th is going to be an asteroid of wisdom because it is retrograde, reevaluating, recessing, recuperating, re redoing things, seeing where you lack, improving. All right, so this is a blast from the motherfucking past. Period. All right, there will be a time where things are going to be brought up. All right, that happened previously for you to fix, learn, be tested. On what you learn and use it as a tool. What good is it if you can't apply it? Right? I'm hearing if it don't apply, let it fly. All right? But you are also getting rewarded for things that you didn't receive before in the past. So this is a huge opportunity to even better yourself more and improve because y'all gonna be receiving a lot that channel y'all didn't get. So it's all dependent on where you at in your healing journey. All right. The eighth portal, baby, is March 31st. All right. And Venus again. Y'all already know what Venus is, right? The planet of all that good shit. You hear me? All that love shit. You hear me? It's entering cancer. The asteroid of spirituality, cancer, and sexuality, Venus. Boop. All right. So this is opening up and heightening our love romantic and sexual energies all right it's all how we approach these energies at this heightened time because it's heightened okay your desires this is what you got to watch out for with this energy all right because your desires and other people's desires for you are going to be at an all-time high because of venus and fucking cancer is going to be like a lusty feeling like your, their logical mind and your logical mind. Wait, no. This is what's going to happen. Your desires, because it's so passionate and lusty and, and, and so spiritual and so sexual, all right? Your desires and or their desires or other people's desires will, will go beyond what your logical mind is thinking. So this is temptation, lust, sex, money, pleasure, making promises that sometimes we might not be able to keep. Once our logical minds start kicking in, like, what the fuck? Why do we make that? It just is feeling good. You know what I'm saying? So for others, you guys, this will be good for us, right? Because this energy is going to be that energy that we are wanting to grow, evolve in our relationship, being spontaneous. Both of us at the same level. We want to try things different. We want to travel, doing all these things. So again, where are you at in your healing? All right. This is sparks flying between two people and your relationships. This is like a new sex life. This is, this is like a new talk. This is like a new mindset. This is you guys starting to rekindle in like a, a flame relighting. All right. That fire between two souls again. So where are you at? All right. These are big opportunities for sexual transformation and transmutation. And what I mean by that is this last portal of the month to not only focus on your sexual desires, but to take that energy inwards and create from it. Put it into use. Like when you get horny, don't just call your motherfucking ex. Do something motherfucking artsy. All right, that's what I mean. An example. All right, direct that sexual energy and that temptation inwards and towards your career, your family, your talents. Pick up a new skill. All right, in which, in which that disciplines you. All right, this is going to be a lot of discipline when it comes to these desires. All right, because it's going to be so much. All right, um, this is mastering self-discipline in thyself. Self-control. Not being so fucking compulsive because your mind is telling you to do something. All right, we are the controller of our mind, body, and spirit. Or our at least our body. All right, so this is a major shift in the 5D. 
all right and the reason why i was called to let you guys know this forecast was because we are now officially in the middle of the shift all right and what's going on is the old world all right is pulling on the new world and there's a spiritual battle taking place in the cosmos and why you think all these planets are like this all right everything is happening for a reason and that's having the same effect on us in this physical plane the physical world is slowly being removed while we are in warfare mentally all right this is called the silent war so you're gonna notice a lot of your items in your house disappearing or reappearing all right in your home a lot of us are falling back from who we once considered family and friends and loved ones, all right? If you really notice, even couples that been together for decades are finally breaking up and separating due to this major shift happening in consciousness and vibration, all right? Physically, you can be there with somebody, but mentally check the fuck out, all right? Now, we're talking about the left path and the right path and what i'm about to say it is not judging nor path all right but the left path would be those who might be challenged in the third dimension stuck in the material realm battling creativity not being able to think outside the box within their confidence and a lot of souls get trapped here but for my motherfucking everything's we are ascending higher, y'all. And the right path are those of us that are growing and that are shifting in consciousness and vibration. And we are always seeking to expand our knowledge. And we are open to wisdom from others, learning to grow. Okay, so we are all energy, y'all. And energy is everything, which inspired my platform to be named Everything Woke. All right? Just living a human experience is everything, right? So I feel like everything is woke. You got to wake that shit the fuck up, all right? It's time we're making the best out of life. And we're really enjoying life for a lot of us. While the others are stuck mentally in another dimension and we feel so much more lighter. So I really, really hope this gives you an idea of what's to come. March, it should. All right. And we're going to pull some tarot. We're going to pull some cards. All right. To see what's going on. We're going to pull like four cards because I don't want to. It's already 22 minutes in. All right. Y'all could be seeing two, two, two. Y'all on the right path. Y'all look. Ace of motherfucking swords. This is y'all breakthrough. Y'all free to go. Y'all free to expand. All right. Y'all, y'all. It's like every time y'all ask for something. All right, spirit is giving you the information. Y'all just received a whole forecast for March and the portals to look out for and how to use them. All the information is being put right in front of your face. And that's why a lot of people are undergoing judgment right now because everything was put right in front of our face. There was no excuses. So right now, this is a breakthrough. You, you climbed. You achieved. This is well-earned, deserved freedom and success and breakthroughs and clarity. All right, you're no, more, no, you're no longer confused about your career. Even if you don't have shit in motion, you know where you're headed. You're no longer confused about a relationship. But this is a star call. You are the man. You are the star. You are aligned. It is time for you to expand mind, body, and spirit now. All right? You reach a certain level. You reach a milestone in your life where you are reaping major rewards. You're learning. All right. You work the eight of pinnacles. You work hard. Look how many trees you got until you got here to make it. Really learn how to be stable into achieving the impossible. It's always impossible until somebody do it. All right. This is a breakthrough. This is clarity. This is communication coming in for work. This is coming communication coming in from for whatever thing you was climbing to higher heights to achieving. And working hard, day and night. All right? Putting all your attention, your effort, and focus on. All right? You have expanded. Oh, look. This is the light at the end of the tunnel. You, tunnel, you did it. 
All right? This is a rebirth. You are as wise as a serpent and as peaceful as a motherfucking dove. That is what you need when Anubis go walk you to go weigh and balance, all right, the scales. Your heart, all right, got to be as light as a feather, but as wise as a motherfucking serpent. These cards will talk to you, at least my fucking cards, because I love y'all. Y'all my everything, and I love to see the growth. So you made it. You are as wise as a serpent. And as peaceful as a motherfucking dove. You hear me? And that's how you learn. All right? So this is what's to come for March. The whole month. All right? Use these portals wisely. Wisely, look. The Ten of Wands. You did it. You passed the test. This was the last test you needed to pass. This was the last test. You showed your strength. You showed your commitment. You was being equipped to engage in spiritual warfare and battles the right way. All right, so that's what I have for you. I hope this helps. See y'all later.